Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you all are safe. Today I came with a small log of our neighboring areas, not very far, just nearby areas. We just came out to get some refreshing air and to get sunlight to boost, you know, vitamin D. March 8 was our last working day. From that day onwards, we didn't go outside, me or my kids. We didn't feel we are in lockdown, we were just enjoying our family time. The chirping sounds of the birds were so soothing, we just walked to the supermarket that's near to our home. The security check our temperature and we use the sanitizer as a part of safety measurement. We are blessed to live in Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia takes strong preventive measures to combat the spread of COVID-19. The highest daily number of recoveries were recorded in Saudi Arabia. I was watching everything as a curiosity of a small kid because I didn't go anywhere for three months. Actually, coronavirus clears the traffic here. It was very really rush road before. I feel the green became greener. It's a mango tree. There are many mangoes. I don't know if you can see it or not. There are many mangoes and banana trees. It resembles Kerala. Very nostalgic feeling, really. There's a small park, it's so empty, before everywhere people laughing, talking and the kids were playing cricket, cycling, bowling, now it's all empty. People were eating food in this park. That time cat was coming to take its share. Now you know the condition different. Cat came to ask me food. But I have only the bread with me. So I just gave it. But it doesn't want. It was just looking at me. It was asking I need broast, chicken or fish. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy Malabari biryani that my mother used to make. We need just rice and chicken. Wash the chicken very well and marinate first. 
1 tablespoon of chili powder. And salt according to taste. Add little more because after frying when you mix the chicken with the onion masala it will be perfect. Three-fourth of turmeric powder. Add half lemon, this juice of lemon. I excuse the whole juice from the lemon. I don't like to waste anything. Mix it well, let the whole masala inside the chicken, the lemon juice, salt and all the masalas. And keep it in the refrigerator for just 5-10 minutes. Into the water, add 4 fried cardamom, 3-4 pieces of cinnamon stick and 4 fried cloves. If you have star, you can add that, but I like to add only add 2 cloves of garlic. That gives very nice smell for the rice. And zira or cumin syrup. Close it and let it boil. Meanwhile, I chop all the onion and the tomatoes. I took 3-4 onion and 3-4 tomatoes. Big size onion. And our marinated chicken. Just fry it. I just shallow fry. No need to worry about the excess oil. The excess oil we use for frying the onion. Don't forget to add salt. I added rock salt into the water. When you taste the water, it should be very salty. Then only there will be salt in the rice. And I added coriander leaves, mints and green chilies. When the water starts to boil, I added the rice. Close the lid and cook for 5 to 10 minutes. And open and check the rice is cooked or not. Don't forget to add a little vinegar or you can skew the lemon juice in it. So the rice won't stick together. I strain the water and I take the garlic. If you don't find it, leave it, no problem. Same part, add one tablespoon of ghee and use the excess oil that we use to fry the chicken and add the onion and sort it well. Add curry leaves, it gives very nice smell. If you have, it's optional. tablespoon full of ginger garlic paste two three chilies I like to add lemon biryani masala Add the chopped tomatoes. I have less tomatoes, so I added one tablespoon full of tomato paste. Add little pepper powder. This only the spices that I'm adding. Just one tablespoon of biryani masala, nothing more. The oil of fried chicken itself is enough for a biryani. Give a good stir always. If you don't have biryani masala, just add garam masala and turmeric. Add two three spoons of yogurt into the chicken. Add coriander leaves and mint leaves. Now take the chickens into another plate and add the rice into that pot.
place a fried chicken on the top of the rice and give it them. I put the pot on the top of the iron tower or a pan. Now take the chicken out and give a good mix for the biryani. It has a very nice aroma. Mmm, very yummy smell. Add RK tiki or butter. Our biryani is ready. It's very delicious. Hope you enjoy the video. If you are watching my channel first time, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, like, share and click the bell icon. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye-bye.